In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to do game one from Prep Test 75. Okay, so um, it starts off by saying that a corporation's human resources department must determine annual bonuses for seven employees and then list those employees. So KLM and P, these guys all work in finance. So I'm going to uh, separate them visually from the other, uh, the other employees. Um, the other employees are B, X, and Z, and they work um, in graphics. So I'm going to use lowercase cursive for those guys. Um, each employee will receive either a um, thousand dollar bonus, three thousand dollar bonus, or five thousand dollar bonus. Um, I would just split them into group one, group three, and group five. Okay. Um, no one in the graphics department receives a thousand dollar bonus, so graphics can't be one. Any employee who is rated highly effective, so if, sorry, if an employee is rated highly effective, um, they're going to receive a larger bonus than anyone in his or her department who is not rated highly effective. Okay, so um, if they're highly effective, then they're, yeah, it's going to be larger than not highly effective. We don't really need to even write this as a conditional. Um, essentially, if we know that someone's been rated highly effective, they're going to be getting a larger bonus than um, not highly effective. So that's what the uh, the greater than sign is, um, but it it's specific to within your department, right? So if you're in finance, you're going to get a better bonus than anyone, um, and, you, and you're rated highly effective, then you get a better bonus than someone who's not highly effective also in finance and graphics. So it's worthwhile to read that slowly um, and think about what that means and even uh, write it out so that you have a nice visual reminder. Um, and then we're going to learn which ones are highly effective and, um, and then because we know that these are the only ones that were rated highly effective, we know everybody else um, was not rated highly effective and we can start to figure out kind of their relative positions to one another um, and almost treat this a little bit like it's a sequence okay um, where we have like three positions so um, uh, yeah worthwhile to spend that time up front so that when you get to the questions everything flows a lot easier so ideally you want to get into a bit of a, a flow state with these games where um, it's one step at a time and it uh, feels uh, quite calm as you're as you're going through um, and then eventually you can speed up and you can do the games within the time constraints right so um, ideally that's that's how that path goes that you start off slow um, and because you're going slowly, you're not making mistakes, you're not having to go back, you're not finding yourself getting um, stuck as often when you get to the questions, um, and that flow allows you to make up the time that you invested up front and also get those correct answers, right? Okay, so um, L, M, and X, these are our highly effective ones easy enough to just circle them, right? So X is going to be, get a, a larger bonus than uh, V and Z do. And because we actually can't have V, X, or Z get a thousand dollar bonus, that means that all of them have to get either three or five. If X has to have a larger bonus than V and Z do, V and Z are going to get a three thousand dollar and x will get a five thousand dollar bonus so figure that out uh, for these ones we just know that um, l and m 
will get larger bonuses than K and P do. So um, it could be that uh, K and P both get the lowest um, amount bonus. It could be that they both get the $3,000 bonus and that L and M both get five. It could be that we have K and P both in this category, and then L and M, one of them gets three, the other five. We could have either K or, we could have K and P separated here, and then L and M would both get five. So if K and P are separated, so for example, like that, then L and M both get five. And in this case, K would have one, uh, P would have three, right? If M has a higher bonus than L, for example, right? Then um, K and P have to have the same bonus. They both have to have one. L would have three, M would have five. So these are just examples or like options, um, possibilities, right? Um, but it shows that if these two have different bonuses, these guys have to have the same bonus. If these two have different bonuses, these two have to have the same bonus. All right, um, I'm going to do uh, question one for this, even though it is um, kind of our typical process of elimination question. Um, it's a little more challenging um, in a way because of the, um, the, just like the structure of it um, compared to the structure that we have here. So um, I would first focus on the deduction that we've made here. So we know X has to have a $5,000 bonus, so we can eliminate A. Um, okay, we know that V and Z both have to have a $3,000 bonus, so we can eliminate B. Um, and we can eliminate E. Right. And then we know that um, K and P have to have a smaller bonus than um, L and M, so we can eliminate D because K and M cannot have the same bonus. They have to have different bonuses. So C is the correct answer for question one. Okay, moving on. Question two, if L does not receive the same bonus as M, okay, so that's this scenario here, then which one of the following could be true? So if that's true, then that means K and P both receive the $1,000 bonus, um, and then we don't know which of L and M would get the 3,000 and which gets the 5,000. We just know that they're different. So what could be true? Could K get a $3,000 bonus? No. Um, could L get a $3,000 bonus? Yes. Um, P can't get a $3,000. Um, K receiving the same as V? No, that would be $3,000. And P receiving the same, sorry, P receiving a larger bonus than K? No, they have to have the same bonus. So B is the correct answer. If only one of the employees receives a $1,000 bonus. Um, okay, so that means that we can't have both K and P have a $1,000 bonus. So one of them will get $1,000, the other one will get 3,000. We will still have V and Z here, X here, and then we know for sure that L and M both get the 5,000, which is um, very likely going to be the deduction they want us to make. So A is the correct answer. Okay, we have a global must be true question here. So hopefully something we were able to deduce initially. Um, what must be true? Oh, at least one of the employees receives a $1,000 bonus. No, we could have nobody receiving $1,000 bonus. That's possible. Um, we would have K and P here, L and M here, and that would be fine. At least three receive a $3,000 bonus. No, K and P could both get 1,000 and L and M could both get 5,000. At most three of the employees receive a $3,000 bonus. No, because we actually kind of mentally created this scenario just a second ago. So if K and P both get three and L and M both get five, then we would have four getting a $3,000 bonus. 
at least two of the employees receive a $5,000 bonus. Um, no, it could be just one. And at most three receive 5,000, yes. So the maximum we could have getting the top bonus would be three because those are our highly effective employees. What year is the correct answer for question four? Five, if exactly two of the employees receive $5,000 bonuses, that means L and M are separate. So K and P need to be together. We have V and Z, L and M, M, L, and X. Uh, what must be true? Well, we don't know whether L or M is the one that receives a $3,000 bonus. So A and B can both be eliminated. Um, uh, M receiving 5,000, again, we, we don't know if that's true. That could be L. Uh, P receives 1,000, that does have to be true. D is the correct answer. Question six. Any of the following could be true of the seven employees except. Okay, so could be true except means we're looking for something that must be false. Okay, so the same number receive $1,000 bonuses as receive 3,000. That's possible, right? We could have K and P over here together and V and Z together here and L and M over here, so it could be two and two. More receive 1,000 than receive 3,000. Um, that's never gonna happen because the highest number receiving 1,000 is two um, and we already know that there are two that receive 3,000. So we're never gonna be able to add more to one than we have in three. So B is the correct answer. All right, um, I hope that's helpful. Please let me know if um, I can uh, give any more insight to uh, the method for this game or games like it.